Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. On this one I just want to look a little bit more at the Heidel layer mask because I just think it's so important that um, you know you get to grips with this Heidel layer mask because it, it, it confused the living daylights out of me to begin with but now I've got the hang of using it. I use it a lot and uh, so I'm just going to go over the use of it um, one more time for you just to sort of give you a few more extra tips on using it. So what we've got here is we've got a couple of galaxies here M81 and M82 which you'll find just above the constellation of the plough and um, this is my original image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this image now by dragging that once again onto the little icon next to the rubbish bin so I've got my background copy which is what I'm going to be working with. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the layer blending mode so this is your layer and up here is your blending mode I'm going to change that to um, luminosity and then I'm going to go up here to uh, image adjustments and match color and in the luminance slider there I'm going to boost that right up so that makes that bring that down and bring it back up again you can see that that makes that um, galaxy there much brighter with the luminance so I'm going to say OK for that so now I've, I've applied that to this layer now to use the hide all layer there are, there are several ways of doing it you can go up here to um, layer and you can go down to layer mask and you can select hide all and you can also select reveal all so you've got hide all mask and a reveal all mask and you can do that that way if you want but a quicker way to do it is to come back over here and on this little icon with the circle in it looks like a little camera uh, next to FX this is your add layer mask so if you click on that once it will add a white layer mask which is a reveal all layer mask if I press control alt Z it will take me back to where I was before and this time if I press that little um, add layer mask icon but hold down the alt key and press it will put the hide all layer mask so by using this little icon and pressing the ALT key or just pressing it once without the ALT key you can put in there a hide all layer mask or a reveal all layer mask. So if we've applied to this layer the extra luminance that's brightened up our galaxies by applying this hide all layer mask what we're doing is we're hiding that luminance so what we're actually seeing here if I click that off what you're actually seeing here is what's on the hold on a minute, what you're seeing here is the background because the effect that you put on the top layer has been hidden by the hide all layer mask okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press control alt z to go back to just the normal background copy I'm going to press that again but this time I'm just going to press it without pressing the alt key so I'm pressing the add layer mask icon and there you are you've got your reveal all and what that's doing there is it's showing the effect um, that we've just added to this layer so if I click that off you'll see we go back to the normal background and then when we have added the extra luminance to it you can see it reveals it all so the hide all and reveal all layer masks. I like putting a piece of glass over the top of your image or a black piece of paper and scraping it away to reveal what's underneath or vice versa. So for instance now we've revealed everything by putting the reveal all mask and revealing the effect that we've made we can now go down here to the foreground and background colors and 
by selecting the standard black and white foreground and background we can choose to um, paint this out or bring it back in again by um, selecting white and if we select white that will reveal because white reveals and black conceals it's a very handy little thing to remember and just choose your paintbrush and when you've got your paintbrush up here you've got your opacity and your flow which you can adjust and when you start painting with a white brush here nothing will happen because it's on reveal so everything's being revealed but if you change that click that little arrow up there and change that to the black and start to paint then you will paint out that brightness so for instance I could paint out the brightness in the core and just leave the brightness um, around the edges of the galaxy like that so you get that sort of effect and it's nicely brightened up the edges of course if you don't want to do that you want to work the other way around rather than keep going back down here and changing this if you simply press the X key it will do that for you and then you paint again and you can bring back the brightness so press X again and you can take it away press X again and you can bring it back so this way you can be selective about what you're adding and taking away bit confusing but I hope this has helped to clear that up a little bit for you the white reveal all layer reveals all the changes that you've made and then you use your foreground and background colors to either add it in or take it away okay you might need to go over them <laughs> a few more times like I did to get the hang of that but that's a little bit more on how to use the hide all and reveal all layer mask and you'll find that when you start using them they're absolutely brilliant for putting in uh, detail exactly where you want it and don't forget you can use your opacity slider up here to just reduce the opacity of what you're doing and when you paint with your paintbrush you can use your opacity slider and your flow up here to also control how much you paint or take away so hopefully that's been a little bit more enlightening on using the hide all and reveal all layer masks in your uh, layers and uh, what you're doing as usual any help needed uh, astrocaster.blogspot.com and um, hope we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.